welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review would be the Raising Canaan Power Book Three, Episode Ten, Season One Finale. Let's get into it. So, this is season finale for Episode Ten. They, you know, was rumors of this whole season that this was going to be like on the epic. He's tying everything together, I guess, from the season. To me, it was just it wasn't really. It just, you know, a regular episode to me. So let's just go over it. It's the aftermath. You see, uh, aftermath of Kanan shooting Detective Howard. And, of course, he didn't finish the job. He didn't finish the job. And he runs off, falls on the ground, cuts himself. Blood samples, of course, will be at the scene at that. A crackhead seen him. All the crackhead seen was a guy with a hoodie with a jacket. He makes a phone call on a payphone. Scrap shows up. The city's going wild with the cops surrounding. So now they got to make moves. Marvin comes up in another car, takes the jacket. His mission is to get to um, break into Unique House and plant the jacket back in the house or whatever. So Unique is with all his crew. Word comes in basically that... Detective Howard's been shot. Unique is like he want all his people off the off the streets. And Worrell tells him that the streets is saying also that you the suspect. And he like, they say, why would I do it? I'm getting money. I don't got time to be, you know, with that type of traffic. So he looking at, he instantly know this is Raquel. And he, basically it runs back from like episode one when he had, him and her had that conversation. And she said, when I come from you, you won't even know. So he basically tell Worrell, I need to get to my people. It's basically to back to the um, his penthouse. So, of course, uh, Marvin gets there, plants the jacket. Right when Marvin is leaving, Unique, his uh, kid and the kid's mother is coming into the house. And so Unique sees the you know, the door, exit door slammed, but he looked at it, but he just kept it moving. So he gets into the um, um, the penthouse, and basically they packing that stuff. Meanwhile, we find out Detective Howard, of course, didn't die. They got to do all these surgeries, chaos with the cops. Now, you get to see Rock's plan up in the Basie Project, high-rises, the plan play out when the cops storm the castle once they're done with um, floor seven they let her know then she sends the packages down the floor um when they get back get up to floor eight they send the pack on um, the product down to floor seven so you see that play out you also get to see how it plays out when you um symphony told her you know from the sky you can see everything coming and so it just got this you know she's a boss woman she really doesn't care who she gets caught up in her madness, and uh, you see her looking at the whole landscape of everything. Meanwhile, you see Kanan, uh, before Rock got to Basie Project, she did meet with Kanan. They went to Uncle Lou's house and cleaned him up, took him to where the uh, bodega spot is, keep him in that room. That's where Marvin's supposed to pick him up at and take him out of town. Now, Marvin ended up getting stopped by the cops and pulled in. Now, the t girl, Tony, that worked at the club when she was trying to get him to, uh, get him on tape to say what he's into, they pulled him in for that. And so when they pulled him in, he later on in the episode found out that, you know, of course, she was, um, she was their CI. So it had rock. She was paging the whole night. So you instantly already knew uh, when she was paging Marvin the whole night, but Kanan needed, somebody needed to go get Kanan. Uncle Lou, he got out of the hospital. Him and um, Rock had a heart-to-heart. -heart. Basically, he wanted to get out of the game. She telling him, basically, you never getting out of the game. It was mine, yours, yours is mine. And, you know... And he basically said, you threaten me. And she said, I ain't threatening you. She just, I'm just letting you know, like, you ain't getting out the game. You know, that record label, that's our record label, you know. 
So uh, it's a really deep moment between siblings and shows you how cold she is, you know, and how she sacrifices. She don't care. She's the queen. If you're playing a game of chess, she don't care who she sacrificed in a manner. So they looking at her like you had your son shoot a cop. So goes from there. Of course, you already know who she's going to call Symphony. So, I, I I mean, that was just obvious. Symphony shows up. Now, Juke shows up at the bodega, and her and Kanan have this heart-to-heart. -heart and he, she, you can see Juke is pretty much telling him, like, you know, basically telling him, like, he tell her pretty much, you know, I know you got your situation with Uncle Marvin, but, you know, my mom, she not like that. She got us. And she pretty much said, your mom had you shoot a cop. How could she really have us? You know what I'm saying? So you can see, like, Juke sees, like, you know, you see two kids, two teenagers wrapped up in a world that they're uh, destined for doomsday from jump, you know. So um, pretty much no hope. All that's around, around them, the bad environment. And you just see how it leads to where, how they became in their older version of themselves. So, um... Uh, they, you know, he was trying to, Kanan was trying to play the hard role, but Juke pretty much called him out on it. It was basically like, you shook, you know. And basically, she was coming at him, but then she was nurturing at the same time. Like, Juke, even though they, they're around the same age, Juke comes off like the big sister pretty much, and she plays, um, the actress that plays as Juke, she does a phenomenal job on um, playing that role. And Juke pretty much, uh, like, you see the whole thing. This is all building up the Raising Canaan or whatever. So, um, that plays out. And then at the end, when uh, Canaan was driving off with Symphony, uh, Juke was like, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Of course, he was like, I love you too. But it was like this little heartfelt moment that um, they had with one another where you way you looked at him you and while he was driving off, it looked like, by the time, the next time they see each other, things gonna be totally different. It's gonna be a whole new environment. So, that's pretty much, I touched base off of everything and then, you know, we got 50 Cent narrating, basically saying you can't trust your mother at the end. And it just shows Rock looking up, you know, so. They already signed off for season two, but you know, I guess where I say it's just a regular episode, even though through, through all that I went over, I, some things just, should have paid off more. Like, I, I guess... And, oh, yeah, I forgot. To, uh, Detective Howard woke up after surgeries. And when he woke up, Detective Burke was sitting there. And um, Juke did finally eventually read that letter from um, Nicole. And when Detective Howard and the captain basically was saying, who, who shot you? Do you remember anything? And he was trying to get his words out, and he was talking. He was looked like he was going to say something. But that's just that's a good open-ended way to end the um, series because he could have been waking up just to die. I don't think he would get it out who actually shot him. You know, they did lock Unique up, and right when Unique found out, because he was missing that jacket, and when he found out, that he realized that Jacka was in his with his stuff. He knew Rock had got him. He's like, oh. And um, they broke in and they pretty much locked him up. So that's, you know, I would have seen some other payoffs. Like the Rorel, he still lived. Uncle Lulu loans is messed up. Davina, her situation. Uh, at the end, it shows um, Symphony drove. Canaan to Merlin. So we got to look at what's the connection there. You know, we all know Juke um, becomes a cop in D.C. So we got to see where that connection ties at. So other than that, for this season, great. I give this season um, a B. Just a B. And if I had to give it out of four stars, 
2.5 to 3 stars out of 4. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Tell me what you take on it. But definitely like the video. Till next time.